Oh my gosh, there's a centipede, babe! I killed it, I think. Yep, I definitely did. Oh wow. He came out of here when I opened Where this thing he? up. He was right there on the ground. I was gonna clean him up. Smashed. He's very already dissolved. Are you ready for your shoe? Yeah. Yes. Alright. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just gonna take take it easy. Okay. Have fun filming. Thanks, love you. Love you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something very exciting to talk about. As many of you know, um, I just got to meet the Queen Miss Pamela Debar. She, if you do not know, the author of a couple different books. I have read, I'm with the band, I haven't read the other two, but um, she also has a clothing line called Groupie U, which um, some of you may know that I am the social media coordinator for. And through that, I get to be in contact with Pamela once in a while, which is pretty cool. And I found out that she was in Chicago doing a writing class, which I have heard of and I didn't know that she did them in Chicago. But she invited me to come to one. So I got to go to this writing class that Miss Pamela was hosting um, downtown in Chicago, which was really cool. And I got to go meet Miss Pamela and meet a bunch of other really cool ladies. And it was, it was literally so amazing. So she texted me and she said that she was in Chicago and asked if I wanted to come to this. And my heart literally like sunk. It was so insane. Um, my dreams like came true at that moment. I texted Andrew, I was like, I have to go to this. And so after like trying on probably five different outfits, um, it was like the hardest thing in the world to decide what to wear to this. Cause of course I'm meeting Miss Pamela who's one of like my style icons. So I have to dress to impress. Um, I finally decided on a vintage dress that's actually one of Andrew's favorite dresses that I own. So I went with that and I actually wore this hat there. And I went to this woman's house that was hosting the um, class in her home, which was really cool and nice of her. I think she's a friend of Miss P's. I went there and I walk in the door and Miss Pamela's just sitting in this big chair and she looks amazing. She's in this like vintage kind of Indian style um, pant and long kind of tunic kind of a thing. And she looks amazing. So I'm just totally like starstruck when I go up and she's like, are you Devin? And I was like, yeah, hi, oh my gosh. It was so nice to meet you. And I went and I hugged her and then I met the other women in the room and we did the writing class, which was so fun. She would give us like prompts and then we would have like 12 minutes or so to sit and write about it and then we would all go around and share what we had written down and it was just a really cool thing to sit and like hear everybody's stories um some were happy some were heartbreaking but either way it was really cool and just kind of like a really nice bonding experience between a bunch of women who i am happy to now know in Chicago and I did actually I didn't actually know that she was going to be there but Cynthia Plastercaster was also at this uh, writing class which was so exciting because I had emailed her a little bit back like maybe a month ago or so asking her if I could interview her for my blog and she said that she was just too busy right now because she is working on getting her book out and that's taking a lot of time and everything so I I totally understand it was fine um, but I was super excited to find out she was there Miss Pamela told me and I like my eyes I'm sure just got like huge I was like are you serious what and sure enough she was there she looked adorable too she was in this shirt that said boobs not bombs and it was so cute and she had her hair all curled and she was so nice Miss Pamela and Cynthia were like the nicest people ever I, we went and took pictures and uh, just kind of talked and then once the writing class was finished we all just sat down and I talked with Miss P a little bit and then I went and I sat down next to Cindy and I introduced myself. I was like, hi, I'm the person who had sent you the email a while back. And she was like, oh yeah, sorry. I was like, no, 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 it's fine, whatever. But um, so I sat down next to her and I was getting one of her shirts. And she uh, was like, what are your favorite bands? And I was just like, oh my gosh, okay. Now is my time to, you know, impress her and tell her what my favorite bands are. And so I was like, well, I guess if I have to 
same modern bands, I told her about the Lemon Twigs and how I really like them, and I also told her about Lucille Furs from Chicago, and so I also invited her to the show that's going on tomorrow, this Friday, and um, told her that she would really like them. I know she still likes to go to shows around Chicago, so it'd be super cool if she came to see them. And then obviously for my classic rock ones, I had to tell her that the Beatles were my number one favorite band, and then probably the Kinks and Alice Cooper and uh, the Trogs and Velvet Underground, so on and so forth. And she was like really excited. She was like, oh yeah, I love the British Invasion stuff too. She was like, do you like the small faces? And I was like, I love the small faces. And we just kind of like really hit it off. And so that was really, really cool. And uh, she showed me this band called The Fat White Family from the UK and she said that she just hadn't heard anything like it since the 60s. She listened to their first two songs that came out and she was just like blown away. She said she couldn't go to sleep after it. So I downloaded the songs there with her and I was like, I'm gonna listen to these on the way home and she seemed pretty stoked that I was actually gonna give them a listen. And I did listen to them on the way home and it was pretty trippy stuff. She was telling me that it was, um, kind of like far out there psychedelic and it definitely is but it's really cool. So the party was kind of like dying down and everything and Miss P was talking about how she needed a ride to the airport the next day and everybody else is kind of like oh busy you know how people's lives get and I was like me like please pick me I was sitting there like oh my gosh that would be so cool to get to drive Miss P to the airport and so I did I did get to drive Miss P to the airport which was so crazy cool. I went and picked her up in the morning and I was just like shocked, I was like, oh my gosh, this rock and roll icon is going to be in my car, like, I have to, I have to play really good music for her. I was totally going to make a playlist and then I had a whole playlist made up before I left that morning and it deleted because I didn't hit save and my app closed out, so it was sad, but I ended up just press and shuffle on um, my music in the car on the way there and she actually complimented me on my music. She asked if it was a serious XM station and I was like, no, it's just my phone. And she was like, oh, well, good music choices. I was like, yes. Right. Yeah, so it was really fun. I got to just drive her to the um, airport and we kind of talked about Group U. We talked about um, just like what I like to do, her favorite bands. We talked a little bit about uh, her vintage shopping and the places she went in Chicago where she said she got some really cool things. I also went and picked her up coffee beforehand so I know how she likes her coffee. And yeah, it was just really fun. I think that if you have the chance to go see her at one of her writing classes or one of her book readings, definitely, definitely take the chance because she just radiates this like amazing energy. She's just like so welcoming and kind and warm and like such a sweet person to be around and Cynthia was the same way. It was, yeah, it was crazy to like sit down and talk to these people who like lived that life and like got to see all those bands firsthand and hang out with them. And then you get to sit down and you get to like talk about how much you love them too and just kind of like bond over that. It was really something that was special and super cool to me. Also, I met this girl named Kristen at the writing class and she's super cool. She's from Chicago, obviously she was there. Well, actually not obviously because one lady was there from Hawaii. But anyways, Kristen's from Chicago and she was super nice and we kind of like hit it off and we were talking about doing like a Pamela and Mercy styled photo shoot which would be super cool. She gave me this photo of Miss Pamela and um, Miss P signed it for me. She said, sweet Devin, uh, lots of kisses, Miss Pamela Debar. So that was super cool and it's the picture with Alice Cooper in it so that was so fitting because also I had talked about how Alice Cooper was my first concert and I was like five rows away from the front and I was just pretty much like melting like it, it almost in tears the entire time. But yeah, so this photo is amazing and it's going in my kitchen now so I can look at it every single day and have a little inspiration. And yeah, so it was all in all just like an, a literally amazing time. So I will be going into more detail over on my blog about meeting Miss Pamela. And otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.